Hey there, it's Mitch from Reverse Mortgage Pros, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through using a reverse mortgage to buy a home. Let's get started. Okay, if you're new to my channel, I provide free professional help with your reverse mortgage decision to make sure you get the best possible available information on reverse mortgages in Canada. Hit the subscribe button below this video or the thumbs up and then you'll get all my videos and content delivered to you. Everything is completely free to help you decide if a reverse mortgage is right for you. Now, it is possible to use a reverse mortgage to buy a home, but there are a few important elements you need to consider. Unfortunately, you cannot get a pre-approval. I'm going to explain why in this video. And I'm also going to walk you through the process of buying a home reverse mortgage and how it would work in practice using an example. So before I get started, as I do at the start of every video, I'm just going to walk you through what is a reverse mortgage in 20 seconds. It's a mortgage for homeowners 55 and over. It doesn't require any repayment. You can get 10 to 55% of your home's value, depending on age, property, and location. You can take as much money as you like, but you must pay off any existing mortgage on your home first. And it's designed to help you tap into your home equity for retirement and continue to live in your home for the rest of your life. In this video, I'm going to walk you through using a reverse mortgage to purchase a home in Canada. So let's start with the basic numbers here. So as I just mentioned, you can only qualify for 10 to 55% on a reverse mortgage. This means that you'll need the remaining 90 to 45% as a down payment. So if you only get 10% reverse mortgage, you're going to need a 90% down payment. If you, only get, if you can get a 55% reverse mortgage, you're going to need a 45% down payment. So those are kind of examples. Or another example might be you qualify for 35% of your home's value. That's fairly common. You'll need the other 65% as a down payment. An important thing to note here is getting an additional mortgage for the remaining money that you need is going to be very hard, if not impossible. So you will have to have the down payment to make up the rest of the money to use a reverse mortgage to buy a home. Now, um, what I want to talk about is why you can't get a pre-approval. And this is how you qualify for a regular mortgage and how you get a pre-approval. So first they look at your, your income, they'll look at your credit score, and then they'll look at your expenses. And based on all of those, they'll run some calculations and they'll give you a dollar amount for the amount of mortgage that you can get. This is with a regular traditional mortgage. This is how a pre-approval works. You get given a dollar amount that you can afford for a mortgage based on your income, credit score and expenses. A reverse mortgage qualification is completely different. It's based on your age, your property and your location and you'll get a percentage amount, not a dollar amount. Ultimately, you will get dollars further down the line, but the qualification is actually a percentage amount, not a dollar amount. And rather it being on based upon, as I showed here, income, credit score, and expenses, it's based on your age, your property, and lo location. Now, I'm not gonna go into too much detail in this video on how much you qualify with for reverse mortgage. If you just search YouTube for reverse mortgage pros, how much do I qualify for? You'll see my video on that. So when it comes to pre-approvals, because you can get a dollar amount with a regular mortgage, that's how you get a pre-approval. They tell you the limit and you go out and you try and buy a home within that pre-approval limit. But that's not possible with a reverse mortgage. Your reverse mortgage, as I just showed you, is based on a percentage value of the home rather than a dollar amount. And if you don't know what the home is, then you can't get a pre-approval. Without the home, there is no amount, there is no dollars, there's no pre-approval, and that's why you can't get a pre-approval for a reverse mortgage in Canada. So that begs the question, how much can you afford then when it comes to buying a home? So as I noted, the amount you qualify for is based on the property type, location, and age. But since you don't know the property or location, then you're gonna to have to use estimates to figure out how much you can get for a reverse mortgage to buy the home. So what you can do is pick some properties in the area or areas that you're looking at and get an estimated range of the reverse mortgage you can get based on those estimates. So here's an example using some estimates. So let's see, um, I've got a client called John and this is completely made up and he's looking to buy a detached home in either Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge or Guelph. He's age 65, so that would mean he would normally qualify for around 17 to 41% reverse mortgage and again, you can search reverse mortgage pros, how much reverse mortgage do, can I get? And you'll see my video explaining that. 
and he asks a reverse mortgage expert to pull him some estimates for him because he wants to buy this home with a reverse mortgage. So what he does is he, he picks four example properties, one in each town. And this is how I would go about using estimates and making my decision when using a reverse mortgage to buy a home. So then what happens is John gets the following amounts for each of the four example properties. So the property in Kitchener, he can get 35% reverse mortgage. The property in Waterloo, he can get 31. The property in Cambridge, he can get 37. The property in Guelph, he can get 38. These are all completely made up numbers. Don't read into them at all. What I want to show you is that the house and the location is going to dictate the reverse mortgage amount and it's going to change. There's going to be very subtle, small differences. So based on this, John now has a rough idea that he can get 31 to 38% roughly for reverse mortgage. And this will help him then to go out and look for homes and try and find ones that fit in that range based on his down payment. Then what John can do is once he finds a home that he likes, he can take the exact home, exact address, give it to a reverse mortgage expert, and they'll give you an exact number for that home before he puts in an offer. So then what happens? What's the process for buying a home exactly? Well, John would put an offer in on a home and it'd be very smart to include a financing clause. Your real estate agent will be able to help you with this um, to give you time to arrange the reverse mortgage and make sure that everything checks out. Then you would send that property to a reverse mortgage expert that I mentioned who will be able to get you the best quote, the highest amount, and tell you what percentage you can get and help you out with that. Then you'll make a full application to that lender for the reverse mortgage. And after that, it's actually the same as any other mortgage. The purchase goes through the same normal mortgage process once you're approved for the reverse mortgage. What would happen is the reverse mortgage lender would pay the funds to the seller's lawyer on closing as you would pay your down payment to them as well. And it just works exactly the same as buying any other home at that point. The only difference really is everything that happens before then, making sure that you can afford it and the fact that there's no pre-approvals. So that's it. That's pretty much everything in a nutshell. In summary, now I see that using a reverse mortgage to buy a home in Canada is becoming a lot more common. And as I mentioned, while you cannot get a pre-approval, because reverse mortgages are based on percentages rather than dollars, you can get estimates instead. And then at the end of the day, make sure include a financing clause and contact a reverse mortgage expert to get an exact quote once you find a property that you wish to make an offer on. Now, if you're thinking of using a reverse mortgage to buy a home, or if you're looking for a reverse mortgage on an existing home, you can get a free reverse mortgage assessment. I'll give you it in 90 seconds professional advice if that's a good solution for you if something better works if you put in um, an example address for any homes you might be buying i can give you an, an estimated quote percentage if you're looking to use a reverse mortgage to buy a home everything is completely free all you need to do is go to reverse mortgage pros.ca forward slash assessment that's reverse mortgage pros.ca forward slash assessment i hope this helps if you have any questions or comments with regards to buying a home with a reverse mortgage, leave them in the comment section below and I, tend, I try to answer every single question I get on every single video. I hope this helps and have a good day.